I'm overlocking the sleeve, head into it, the sleeve. So I'm just being very careful when I'm sewing it and overlocking it that I'm sort of lining it up, my stitching with here so that I'm just trimming a little bit off to just make it nice and even. If I go through both the edges on this edge here. And the other thing I'm watching out for is that that seam doesn't flick back and that I don't accidentally get it caught underneath here because I'll end up cutting a hole in it as the overlocker goes through. So I'm just making sure it lines up nice and flat there. And I can feel it. I'm holding my hands here, cupping them over the edge to make sure that I don't um, get my fingers in the way of the blades, which is cutting this off. And again, running the machine off to the edge. And that's it. Doing the side seams, you put the side seam on top of each other right there. You're pushing the seam towards the sleeve and you're pinning every four fingers or hand width up towards the sleeve and then down the body, all the way along the body. Now because I'm putting a foot on it, I've lined up the foot here and here and I've worked out how far it is going to be that I need to sew to, to insert that foot. So in the side seam, I'm going to use the lock stitch machine and reversing at the end. I'm starting on the sleeve where I've pinned, taking the pins out as I get to them. Miss that one. Pin out. Now coming up to here, I want those seams right on top of each other and I want them pushed towards the sleeve. So take your time going over this. And lining those up, because that'll give you a nice um, underarm. 1.5 seam seam, and then you're continuing all the way down the side. Lining up the seam with 1.5 again. Continue down right down to the notch here. Okay. Right, so I'm continuing down. Notches are that I preset for inserting my foot. And going to reverse at the end. Yep. I'm overlocking the um, seam, just trimming it off, lining it up, the seam that I've sewn with the foot more than worrying about what I'm trimming off. So it sort of comes out about a centimetre or 1.2 centimetre seam left on there. And again I'm making sure that I don't accidentally catch something like that underneath. running it off at that notch. 